So hey guys, I'm out in my backyard today recording rather than inside. It's 32 degrees Celsius, 100% humidity, so it's really hot. Um, but you have to enjoy the weather uh, while you can here in Canada because it feels like it's always winter otherwise. Um, a lot of Canadians go cottaging to the beach, camping, some cut the yard uh, on days like today. And if you have been to Northern Ontario, you'll realize how uh, <laughs> bad the reception is or the lack thereof. If you're at a cottage, you have really, really bad internet. Um, and if you are lucky enough to have cellular, um, you usually only have one or, one or two bars. Now, if you're trying to do live streaming uh, remotely, it's hard enough to do RTMP streaming, even with a few seconds of buffer. Uh, the bandwidth is so hard to get and the reliability is so poor, it's not always possible to, let's say, stream from the cottage. Um, but it's even harder if you're using Video Ninja because it's ultra low latency. Um, any sort of fluctuation in the connection is seen on video. And that, that that's can be kind of challenging for production, uh, professional production situations where you want to have that low latency conversational latency. But uh, what do you do when you have a bad connection? So I've been uh, spending a lot of time trying to figure out good solutions for the Video Ninja community and for my own uh, uh, professional uh, production services, let's say. Um, and I reached out to a company called Peplink and they were kind enough to send me what I was asking for as a loaner. Uh, so I was asking for this guy. Um, this is the Max Transit Pro. It is a dual LTE uh, modem router that has support for bonded VPN. So you can essentially connect Wi-Fi, Ethernet, cellular, um, all together into one connection and have a more reliable stream because they're all bonded together. Uh, I've tried software solutions in the past um, and, they, and they work well for things like redundancy. So if one, one stream dies, it will fail over to the other one. And it works well for RTMP streaming. For WebRTC, it's, it doesn't really do enough. If you have two bad connections um, with the software solutions, it, it doesn't necessarily give you one good connection. It just gives you, uh, it's still a, ultimately just a more reliable bad connection, but it's, it's still not gonna help you improve your video quality. Uh, Peplink has a more sophisticated uh, solution you can deploy the software to your own servers, Google Cloud, Amazon. Uh, so you can choose a location that's close to you that has good reliability on the connection front. Uh, it also has a ton of advanced configuration options. So you can configure uh, forward error, error correction. You can control uh, buffer delays. You can control jitter delays. You can control the, the network layout. Uh, which is, which is great. Uh, a lot of these settings exist within Video Ninja, but they're hidden by the browser. The browser manages the buffer, manages error correction. So if you want to have your own sort of control over that, um, a VPN connection and a Peplink solution in particular is uh, quite powerful. It gives you that low level control that you couldn't really get otherwise. And then it extends it by giving you the bonded, uh, op the bonded connection. So you have dual cellular, multiple Wi-Fi, multiple Ethernet, for example, opportunities to bond and publish. <clears throat> um, I often tell people never to use Wi-Fi. <clears throat> and so just using this as a cellular connection uh, can be good. You'll get a better antenna than what's in your phone. And if these antennas, and there's lots of them, aren't good enough, uh, you can always extend it with an external antenna, uh, right? So this can be put up on a pole, on, on, the, on, a, on a truck. You could also, for example, I've been in cases where you're in a hotel room <clears throat> and you're getting really bad reception in the hotel room. You could put this outside the door, outside the window, and uh, have this inside. And that can will you know, give you a substantial boost to your uh, reception. And as a result, you'll get a better stream. Uh, now, an additional 
uh, benefit of these devices is you get a remote control interface. So I don't know if you've ever tried to remotely help a camera operator set up a VPN or set up some sort of software on a laptop um, before the, the talent arrives. Um, it's challenging, and especially if you have to change configuration settings midway through a stream, it, you can't expect the camera operator to help uh, configure a device like this. Peplink, uh, you can configure the device as an independent device. You can configure the VPN software, but it also has a overarching control center, uh, like a web dashboard, that lets you remotely control all these devices and manage them. So I can override the settings on the device via the cloud, configuring this device, the cellular, the networks, all that, um, so that I don't need to have experts in the field operating this. I can simply send this with uh, either the talent or with the camera operator, ship it out. They just need to plug it in, and I can remotely uh, configure it. I also have um, a GPS plug that uh, connects to an, an antenna there, so I can even find the exact location of the device. Um, it, 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 it's kind of like a dream solution uh, for those trying to do um, professional video without having to have like a, essentially a camera truck. This is a great uh, option for those who want that reliability um, in, in a more affordable package. Um, this is dual LTE, so 4G. Peplink, though, did send me uh, the Big Brother as well. This is a little bit more expensive. This is probably closer to 2,500 or something like that. I don't know the exact pricing at the moment, but um, and this is dual 5G. So 5G needs a lot more antennas, so it's gonna be a bigger device. Um, this device, you can power it with, power it with USB-C. So you can put this in a, in a backpack carry it around with you as a mobile like uh, device. This, uh, you know, it has a DC in, but I don't see a USB-C in. So I think this is more of a, uh, more stationary than this guy would be. Um, but you do get the 5G and you have a USB 3 option that lets you extend the number of cellular connections to three. So you can have three cellular connections bonded together with this guy. Uh, you have the switch on the front so you can have um, more more devices connecting more instead of just one laptop you could have uh quite a few and we see on the back the number of cellular connections uh i'll, I'll show you this all closer in a second uh but just because um just because uh peplink also sent me their <laughs> their external antenna for this 5g device as well um comes with a lot of cabling so you can run this quite a distance and again um have this uh, closer to your laptop and run this outside the door, outside the building, on, on a pole, who knows, uh, and giving you better reception. It does come with uh, screw-on antennas as well. So if you want something that looks more like this, you can do that as well. Um, for me, the, the notion is I have a solar panel up back, I have this battery backpack, I can go camping and I can live stream all day uh, bonding a bunch of cellular connections together. And if there's Wi-Fi in, in, in the area, even if it's bad Wi-Fi, I can still attach it to this and it will just strengthen uh, the, the connectivity. And with the, the settings I have on the, uh, like the buffer and all that on the VPN software, I can extend the buffer through the VPN software providing uh, more control over jitter and packet loss and error correction that I wouldn't get uh, through Video Ninja alone because of the, uh, the challenges of accessing, accessing those settings through the browser. You know, plus it's bonding. Um, the uh, VPN software, I think, has a couple entry-level licenses. So I think there's like a, a single, use, single, single device license uh, that you can just download the software and start using it that way. It might also have like a, a three device license with some limit on time. Um, but then you can also uh, scale up from there. So you can start using their VPN software uh, just by, I think, downloading it. 
and, and getting going there. And if you like what you see, you can always then uh, invest in one of these hardware devices. If you don't know how to deploy uh, to the cloud, their software, they offer it as a service, I think, also. So you can use their services and their servers uh, as well. But I prefer to run it myself to get uh, the very best quality possible. Um, and I think you also have to contact uh, a reseller to get these devices, which is a little bit more of a um, uh, a friction point for me, but uh, you know, look on their website and they have tons of resellers around the world that you can reach out to and get help uh, deciding which device is good for you and uh, getting it shipped to you. So let me uh, just go over there with these devices and I'll just show you uh, a little bit closer. So I think you can see that. Um, we have a GPS port here. We have a bunch of antennas here. So they say Wi-Fi, uh, aux main, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi main, GPS. We have uh, slots for SIM cards here. I don't think you need SIM cards always. Um, on the back here, we have DC power. We have uh, the USB-C uh, ports, two of them, WAN, LAN, and uh, everything else. For the 5G device, we have you know uh, the, the switch on the back with uh, multiple ports. When uh, we have the USB port that you can extend again the five an additional cellular connection. Uh, we have tons of antennas and the two SIM card ports as well. And this is again the uh, Max BR2 Pro 5G, pretty freaking awesome device. Uh, again. I reached out to Peplink asking if they could send me a loaner and they were kind enough to do that. And um, I'm just hoping to find a solution for the community that can ultimately uh, give you guys options to improve your streams. Okay, uh, have a great summer and thank you for watching. Bye.